Hello and welcome to a Click Team Fusion tutorial by Impact Gamers. We are continuing looking at making a one click game, making an example game, and this is session three. Um, so have a look back at session one if you haven't done it. But session three, we're going to make quite a basic one click game for a phone. So in Click Team Fusion Free Edition, we're going to open up the template from session one and go into the game frame. And I'm just going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. Now, what we're going to do is in the event editor, we had previously when we clicked, it went to the next frame. I'm just going to right click on the number and delete this condition. If you right click on the words on the condition itself, it just changed it to never. But if you right click on the number, you can delete the event and the condition itself. So I'm getting it back to um, just back to nothing happening on this frame. So the premise of this app is going to be that there's going to be things bouncing around the screen and there's going to be a mouth to eat them. So I'm going to create this mouth. So I'm going to insert a new object. It's active, not because it's moving, but because I'll be able to control it. And I'm going to click once on it to resize it. And there we go. And just to make it look more like a mouth, I will quickly make it look more like a mouth. So. I'll just add a tongue in and maybe tonsil for the effect. There you go, no teeth though. Right, there is my mouth. And I will name it, so I'll go into its properties and click on about, or I could just press F2, it would get me the same effect, and I'm gonna call it mouth. Next, we're going to insert another new object. This is going to be active as well. And this is going to be something that we like to eat. I'll make a sweet. Not that you should be eating lots of sweets. I'll oh, go on, I'll make it something a bit healthier. Cave into the peer pressure. Um, I will make it an apple. I say cave into the peer pressure. I mean, be a good example. So we'll have an apple, which is a good thing to eat. A little bit of a shine or a slug, depending on how that looks. And there we go. Right, there we go. There's a lovely apple. And I'll rename that apple using F2 there. Um, and I'll insert my final new object. This is going to be something bad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have it as mud or something. Going to make this a little bit bigger. Clear it um, and just make it a brown splodge. There we go. Fantastic. Now, the movements of these, if I click on them and click on the movement properties, they're static. They're all static at the moment. I want these to be bouncing balls. So I click on that one, bouncing ball, and this one, bouncing ball. And if I test the application, they will just fly off. Oops, click to go to my next frame and they'll just fly off. If I run the frame, See, they just fly off. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that to mud. I'm going to add a new condition that if the apple's position, if I test the position, if it tries to go out the top or the right or the bottom or the left of the frame, then I right click on the apple and movement bounce. And I'm going to copy the rule by dragging the words to the words and double click to change if the mud does it and I'm gonna drag this to bounce. So now we run our frame, we've got them bouncing about. If I just resize my frame to fit on my screen, they're bouncing about. Good, right. Now a new condition, if the mud collides with the mouth, then I want to go to the next frame and the next frame is just end. So if I run my frame, Oh, we might take a while. Let's restart it. Here we go. There we go, and it quits. Now another condition, uh, if I pull the words downwards and then double click, if the apple collides, I want to change my score. So right click, score, add to score. Let's give ourselves 10 points. We won't be able to see that. So I go back to the frame editor and I insert a new object and this time it's going to be a score object let's click to drop that down click on it once oh actually if I double click 
uh, I'll show you how you can change the font. So well, let's make it blue and click on the font and import font and make it bigger. There we go. And if I import the font, it changes the font and the color and everything. There we go. Now, um, I don't have any control over stopping the mud or the apple going in. So um, they're just all going to go in. So I need to do my one click control. And it's going to be the basic premise of if I click, the mouth's going to shut. And if I let go, the mouth's going to open. Now, to make it super simple, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is just start off with the uh, mouth in there. And when I hold down click, I'm going to reposition it here. And when I let go of click, it's going to move back there. So it's just moving in and out of the frame so that it can't collide with things. And also, I'm just going to make sure in its runtime options, I'm not going to destroy it too far from frame because I want it to always exist. So new condition, the mouse repeat while mouse key is pressed, the left button. Um, repeat while it's pressed and that will make it close. So we want the position. So I right click, select position and then select position. Uh, and I'm going to move it outside over there. Now I'm going to drag the words downwards to copy it again and I'm going to right click and I'm going to negate them. So when I'm not pressing the mouse, then right click under the mouth, select position um, and I'm going to so put the position there. So now if I run my frame, oh, that was a quick death of eating mud. Let's move the mud out of the way. When I click, my mouth goes and it opens. So that's, oh yeah, I got some points. Right, yeah, I got some points. So now let's just make it a bit better by adding a backdrop. And with the backdrop, I will add a face. And uh, Let's just have a lovely happy person with very tiny ears and a very wobbly face. Well, have you seen the Goonies? There you go, this sloth's profile. So I'm going to draw a mouth on here, but I'm going to draw it shut. Um, and then I'll add some eyes quickly. Ellipse filled in. There we go, perfectly normal looking person. And let's make use of that weird quiff to make it a little a bit more like a person. Oops, <laughs> there we go. I was going to say it looked a bit like Donald Trump and then it all went orange. I won't make any more comments. Right. There we go. And don't you hate it when you miss the colour? There we go. Add a nose in. Right, so just a little bit of the wrong size. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. So now if I run my frame, I've got my person. Oh, let's run that again. Let's get the uh, aspect ratio better. There we go. That's my person. Open and close the mouth on the click. Doesn't matter where I click on screen. So um, when we end the game, I'm going to go to my end frame, double click on there, and I'm going to pull the score in from before so that we can see what our score is. So if we run the application, it starts off on the red screen. Just resize it to, get it to fit. We play the game. Close my mouth. That apple isn't going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's just let's just end the game with a score of zero. Then that apple is stuck in the corner. I might make the mud and the apple bounce off each other to interact. Oh, here we go. 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 I'm gonna get the apple. Got the apple. Got some points. Now, is the mud going to collide? Here we go, the mud, and 10 points. We click, we start the game again. Oh, we're still on 10 points, so we might as well double click on the intro and get it to reset the score here. So user clicks with the left button, it goes to the next frame, but we'll also set the score back to zero to reset it. Now in the game, um, we're going to make it so that more apples appear. Um, and then you can do a lot more things if you want to. You could add in a speed that always and always condition to set the movement of apple and mud to, to the speed counter and have the speed counter increase. 
But anyway, let's just say that uh, when these collide together, they both bounce. Movement bounce and movement bounce. Now, when an apple hits a mouth, I want the apple to be destroyed and I want a new one to be created. I'll just create it at the top there. And just to make things exciting, um, I'm going to say every eight seconds, I'm going to create some more mud. We'll create that near the bottom. And every, the timer, every five seconds, we'll create another apple. So I might not even need it to be created when it gets eaten here. Let's try that anyway. So if we run the application and just change the aspect ratio to fit in on the screen. Mmm, yummy apple. Yum. Oh, got an issue with that mud. Got an apple, move out of the way. Whoop. Skills. There we go, getting more mud and more apples. There we go. New high score already. And let's just leave the mouth open. And the mud goes in. Ooh, there we go. 150 points. We click and we restart and back on zero. There we go. And we made a one click app. I'll just quickly show you about the speed in case you're interested. If you added in a counter and you set the counter to a sensible number initially, which is under settings of the counter, maybe 40, you could just have a rule, new condition, always, and right click here, movement, set the speed to be the current value of the counter. And if we do the same for drag that across the mud, then you can have a condition that whenever you eat an apple, we can add to counter maybe uh, two. And so things will gradually increase speed. So let's see if we can witness the speed change. Ooh. Can't tell yet, speed of two is quite slow. Yeah, I think, yeah, they're definitely moving faster now. Great, and there you go. Save it, and I'm gonna save it here with a number three at the end, so I can come back to it later. Um, ooh, uh, three B for me then, I'll see what that is later. Um, yeah, so, let me know if you have any trouble with that and download this. I'll try and put a link in the description and have a go at making this one button app.